Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a rather warm day. I was actually lucky that the heat was back. Jim didn't care for the heat. He says it was too warm, but it was perfect for me. I went out this morning to the gym and I worked on the hydraulic machines and I actually was there an hour. He had me ride a bicycle for 10 minutes to see what if he can get my heart rate up above. The, he wants my heart rate between 130 and 140 right now. He says after a while it's going to be harder to get to that goal as I get more um, strength more fit. and more fit. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. And then he had me work on the on the step step. I guess it's called the step thing. I don't know. He had me do the arm step thing stepper. only. Steps the what's it called? Oh, stair stepper. Uh, stair stepper. That's what it was, I believe. But I don't think it was a stair stepper. It's because the stair stepper is different. It had the arms and the feet and elliptical. elliptical. That's what it's called. Yes, it's called an elliptical. We got it. Okay. I worked on that and I went on that for about 12 minutes and then I went over to the hydraulic machines which um, I had to do the watch the clock this time. Last time he had me just kind of count to a certain number and when I did that many then I was done. But now I had to do it with the clock so you, you would work for 20 seconds and if you didn't make the 10 in the 20 seconds you did it for 10 seconds more and then you stopped and then you waited the, the um, next 30 seconds to go, start up again on the next machine. So you, it was like um, going from one machine to another machine to another machine and you didn't and you just had this small little rest period in between. And I have all of the machines are set at their highest um, resistance. resistance. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> And I went to the Crafty Diem tonight, and this is what we made today. We did a picture frame. This time I did an autumn theme. Hold it still. Um, a lot of them did like a Halloween theme. I'm not big on Halloween. So I did a, a more of a autumn fall. fall. Yeah. I did have this on the bottom but it fell off, so it's not going to be on the, it says beware. They didn't have anything that said anything about um, Thanksgiving, which would have been nice. Or just autumn would have been nice. Or fall. Or fall. Yep, that would have been nice. So that's what I did. And then um, I got a lot of comments on my mom. It's the video when I talked about my mom. My mom was a character. She she was very outspoken kind of lady and um, if she didn't like something you knew it and if she liked something you knew it she w she didn't hold back at all she was a very very honest lady and you know when I was thinking about there was something that somebody was saying I don't know exactly what it was but um, like when I was in school if there was something that everybody else would be frowning about or having a hard time about and if I went home and told my mom about whatever was going on and if she approved the whole school approved it was really funny because they used to value her um judgment there we go <laughs> thank goodness Jim's here see I'm thinking and he's hearing and he 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 hears the words and and it's like when you're watching the game shows on TV. You're shouting at the darn television to, and, and the, trying to get them to say whatever word it is and they never can come up with it. It's because you're on the spot and I'm on the spot. So yes, yeah, they valued her judgment. So if my mom approved of it, the whole school approved of it. If my mom thought it was kind of not so, mm -mm, then the teachers would kind of stay away from it because they figured if my mom didn't approve, probably there'd be another parent out there that would cause trouble and she was not a troublemaker causer she would just tell you um no I don't think you should be teaching that or I don't think that should be allowed in school and that would be the end of it where somebody else would probably take it further so that's that was my mom and uh, what? you were glad that your dad met me first not your mom oh true yeah 
that was my one my when my husband was just saying about how I was glad that my mom did not meet my husband first and it was my dad. My dad was a real mild person, very mild mannered person. He was extremely my mother was very outspoken. And so I probably have a little bit of both of them in me because sometimes I'm a little outspoken, but I'm also a mild person too. And there was something I was going to say before he interrupted me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know, you make me, I, I, I have fleeting moments in my brain. Things come and they can go out just as fast as they came in. And what I was going to talk about was, um, like, I grew up with a very, it was a very strict parent, very strict. Um, and so when I was, after they passed away, if any of you are having trouble with, you know, your, your memories of, of your parents or something that just wasn't right, I suggest you do a slideshow, a picture slideshow. Look at those pictures and put them into music and put, and you'd be shocked. I did that with my um, parents. I gathered a bunch of pictures and you could actually see the love in their eyes. Even though you were, you know, you were scolded for a lot of stuff. All you can remember when you're a kid is all the scoldings you got and all the trouble you got into, which I used to get into trouble. But um, you see in the picture, oh my goodness, the love in their eyes. And the, um, it just brings a whole different aspect of this view that you may have of, of a person that maybe you were having trouble actually caring for. So just just look at pictures. You will see the true person within those pictures and it will bring joy to your heart. And I guess that's my message for today. I um, will talk to you all again tomorrow. I hope you had a great day. So I'll see you. Bye.